Welcome, I'm Betty Hurley Dasgupta, and this is a short tutorial about how to use groups in Mahara. So, first we're going to go into Mahara again by clicking on the Mahara ePortfolio link and uh, back to our dashboard. Now, there actually are a number of ways of joining groups. Uh, the groups you're already in will be listed on the right hand side. You may also see on here an invitation to join a group and um, if it is something your instructor has set up that would be good to uh, accept that invitation to join a group. You can also click on groups and it will list your groups but you can also find groups. So that's also um, uh, something that you can do and you can check here and see which groups are already here that you may want to join. I'm actually going to show you a group that you are welcome to join and that's the Mahara support group. And actually we'll go into the group through that. So I'm already a member of this group. In order to see members of the group you can click on members and, and this is a, a way also to maybe connect with other people. Um, so you can go in here like you see my name here. If you click on my name it will go to my uh, portfolio my profile page and um, you can also request friendship from here. But going back let me show you some other parts of this group that are important. There are within a group there can be files that are shared within the group and there are some files in, in here so um, you can do that. You can also upload a file to share with a group as you would upload a file to your page, you can upload something to the group. Um, there can be pages uh, that are shared with groups and you can see there are two pages here that I have already shared with the group. Uh, so that's a place there and you can copy those pages if you want. You can also create a page that would be a page just for within that group. But probably the most important thing that you're going to be doing in a group are the forms of the discussion in, in a group. So if we click on form, you can see that there are three forms set up in here. And um, so there's a general discussion, but we're going to go on into one called shared discovery. So you look initially at the forms, you can click on a form to see what's in there. And there is one item in here about copying a text box. So I could click on that if I wanted to and, and read it and reply to it. Or I can go back and one thing uh, that's important to note is it does show the post poster and it also shows the last post. So if someone had responded it would show who had responded uh, last uh, to this series. Let's say you wanted to share a discovery, but uh, so a new discovery. Then you would click on new topic. And here, instead of doing a reply, you put in a new subject and your message there. And then um, when you're done typing your message, you would go ahead and post it. So that's, uh, let's do something there. Um, my discovery. I found out and I'll have to fill something more in there later and post it. And you can see this is now under topic. To go back into forums, um, you can click just on the forums here and that will take you back to the beginning. And you can see now there are two topics under share discovery and if I click on there, there's now my discovery and the beginning of my post. Um, and so you could go ahead and uh, respond to that if, if you wanted to. Or because um, I didn't really say that much, I can, because I'm the writer of this, I can go ahead and delete it. And I say yes. So it's not there. So, um, another thing to um, note is that if you are in a group connected with a course, you may want to be tracking um, things being added to forms and you can subscribe to a form. So right now I'm subscribed so it says unsubscribe. If I click 
then the choice is to subscribe. So we're going to go back to that. And that's probably a good idea for forums um, in which you really are interested in keeping track of what's going on in there. So that's how to go into a group and um, engage in forums in the group and if you wish um, add files and pages to the group. So um, go ahead and join the Mahara support group and with your course there very well may be um, a group that you'll be asked to join. Um, and so this will um, help you in part, be a good participant in your group.